بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته um, We are back to our uh, chapter 8 I uh, just want to remind you with chapter 7 the governor's hall uh, we remember that Hester has gone to the minister in order to reclaim Pearl back to her because they wanted to take her out from uh, Hester and the other details about the mansion of the um, uh, of the governor and his um, his life and uh, we remember that uh, Pearl and Hester caught sight of uh, some people um, gathering with the uh, governor and we uh, understood that those people are Chalunguet, Demisdale and um, Mr. Uh, Minister Wilson. Chapter 8 is entitled The Elf Child and the Minister. Uh, briefly, the chapter discusses these um, a few points. The Puritans, again, the Puritans are almost the focus of every chapter along with other ideas and details. Pearl is the focus of this chapter and how she is described, how she is, she, she is seen by the Puritans and um, by Demisdale, Chillingworth and how far his character has developed and uh, Demisdale. So the elf child and the minister, look at the title of uh, the story. Uh, here, uh, Hester, Pearl, Chillingworth, Demisdale, uh, Bellingham and Wilson are gathered in Bellingham's house and we are supposed to uh, witness those people talking about um, Pearl. The governor and Mr. Wilson came to um, other guests, one the Reverend Arthur Demisdale, whom the reader may remember as have, uh, having taken a brief and reluctant part in the scene of Hester Prince's disgrace. Um, Demisdale after the first scaffold scene along with Chillingworth and we understand that Chillingworth has met Hester in her prison after the uh, first scaffold scene and there is a span of time two to three years and now they meet again after this long time because uh, Pearl has grown a little bit um, older. Uh, Chillingworth a person of great skill in physic who for two or three years past had been settled into town. It was understood that this landman was the physician as well as a friend of the young minister, a friend of Demisdale. We understand that Demisdale's health has been um, failing uh, ever since the scaffold scene, the first scaffold scene, and uh, Chillingworth is supposed to be the physician who treats people, so he took lodging, he lived with uh, the Demisdale and is supposed to be nourishing him and healing him in order to make him able to um, conduct his daily life, his uh, daily duties of the church, etc. So we understand now that Demisdale and Chillingworth are friends and living in one uh, house. It was understood that this land man was the physician as well as a friend of young minister whose health had severely suffered of late by his two unreserved self-sacrifice to the labors and the duties of the pastoral relation. This is the reason why the health of Demisdale is failing, but this is what uh, people see. But psychologically speaking, there is a hidden reason, which is his guilt, that he could not uh, confess. So he is to reserve sacrifice, self-sacrifice, he is sacrificing himself for these labors, the works and the duties of the uh, church. Um, <clears throat> here, what have we here, said Governor Bellingham, looking with surprise at the scarlet little figure before him. I profess I have never seen the like since my days of vanity in King, um, uh, in all King James. Uh, now we concentrate on the way a pearl is described in this, um, in this meeting. First, she is described as a bird. Of course, all the description is related to nature because Pearl is a product of nature that is a way far from civilization occupied by uh, Puritans, which is spoiled and destroyed by those people's um, principles and ideas. So, normally the writer tries to um, uh, put Pearl in the natural world and associate her with natural aspects of life in order to say that she is very pure and she is not tarnished by the uh, Puritans and their philosophy. What little pearl, uh, what little bird of scarlet plumage may this be? Methinks I have seen just um, such figures when the sun had been shining through the etc. 
Are thou a Christian child? The first thing they talk about is religion. Are you a Christian? And this is a kind of irony here because they are supposed to apply the real Christian principles, but they are doing uh, quite the reverse. They are not Christian and they are doing some other um, negative aspects that are not related to Christianity. A point that the writer wanted us to uh, highlight in um, this novel. <coughs> um, naughty, now naughty elves or fairies whom we thought to have left behind us with other relics of papistry in merry old England. See here a pearl is associated with old England. Old England, because England uh, has been, um, it was a place where, where those Puritans were kicked out, so she is supposed to uh, be a, a kind of um, a person that lived there and um, a place that they do not like. Those Puritans did not like Old England because um, Englanders did not like the philosophy of of the Puritans and chase them away and send them uh, to a New England. So um, the place where there is where there are no Puritans must be a good place according to the philosophy of the writer. So Pearl is associated with that old place. Definitely this is a positive uh, link that the writer wants to uh, link here with, um, uh, with this idea. So another, another kind of uh, association is made when the writer um, when one of the I am mother's child uh, answering um, who is your father I am mother's child answered the scarlet vision and my name is Pearl Pearl Ruby Ruby Yaqut Rada or Coral Marjan Red Rose these are all associ associations part of nature which are linked with the character of uh, Pearl of course because of the way she is addressed as uh, Pearl as Hester has a dress pearl in the best magnificent uh, clothes she could ever uh, knit or uh, sew. Um, again here, we might have judged that such a child's mother must needs be a scarlet woman and worthy type of her of but she comes at a good time and we look into this matter for which matter is that taking pearl from hester governor bellingham stepped through the window into the hall followed by his three guests hester Prynne, fixing his naturalist in regard on the wearer of the scarlet letter hester here had been much a question concerning thee of late the point had been weightily discussed whether we are uh, that are of authority or so they concluded that to take a uh, pearl and the trust um, an immoral soul, immortal soul such as there is um, in yonder child to the guidance of one who had stumbled and fallen amid the pitfalls of this world. So they say that this is incorrect to um, let pearl live with a kind of person who stumbled, ta'athara and fallen amid the pitfalls of uh, this world. So she is not supposed to be a good uh, person to take care of, uh, of Pearl. <clears throat> it's better to give her to another, uh, a place where she could be clad soberly, disciplined, strictly, and instructed in the truths of heaven and uh, earth. Of course, Hester replies, I can teach my um, girl better and I am, uh, I can teach her what I learned from the Scarlet Letter, etc. Here we have um, the, the description of Pearl uh, almost comes to an end. So now we have Pearl linked with Lord of Misrule as she is a result of an uh, Lord of Misrule and is something related to devil because she is a, um, the result of extramarital uh, relationship, uh, adultery. She is linked with Old England because um, 
the beauty and history of the Puritans uh, there has been erased so uh, that's why she, she is linked with old England she is also linked with the a bird, a soul, a freedom, beauty and these um, um, uh, ruby, coral uh, and uh, these are precious um, rocks let's say um, the child finally announced that she had not been made at all in answering the uh, governor's um, a question. She is not made, but she is plucked by her mother from the bush of wild roses that grew by the prison door. Then the writer um, uh, tries to highlight the character of Chillingworth. He started to perceive that a change had come over his features. Uglier, his uh, complexion is um, darker and duskier, and his figure more uh, misshapen. Of course, this is, refers to an inward change, a change from within Chalangwa, uh, 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 which refers to a moral, uh, let's say, a moral degeneration because he is pursuing a kind of revenge uh, upon Demisdale. So this is reflected on his character because now he is deformed and he looks... Uh, very bad. Uh, here, God gave me the child, cried she. He gave her an requital of um, in re defending herself and trying to keep um, Pearl. She is my happiness, she is my torture, only capable of being loved and endowed with Milan. Um, for the power of retribution for my sin. So these uh, are um, a kind of uh, everything to Hester. Pearl is uh, very important for uh, Hester. Uh, my poor woman said, not the unkind minister, the child shall be well killed, cared for far better than though. They are trying to convince her to take um, uh, Pearl from her. Hester raising her voice almost to shriek, I will not give her up. And then she diverts her attention to Demisdale at home uh, this moment she had seemed hardly so much as once to direct her eyes so now she is entreating uh, Demisdale to speak for her and to defend her which gives us a clue that um, she she tries to show or the writer tries to show the kind of hidden connection between uh, Demisdale and uh, between Demisdale and uh, Hester you know me better, I will not lose the child, speak for me, thou knowest for thou hast th sympathies which these men lack. So this is important. Thou knowest what, it, what is in my heart. So she shows Demisdale as a very close person and this is giving an idea to Chillingworth and attracting his uh, attention. Now Demisdale takes the chance to defend Hester and Pearl by interfering in order to keep uh, Hester with uh, a pearl with uh, Hester. A kind of physical description. His la large dark eyes had a world of pain in their troubled and melancholy depth. This refers to his uh, troubled psyche, uh, which means that from within he is unstable and he is suffering. Um, a truth in what Hester says and in feeling which inspires her, God gave her the child and gave her too an instinctive knowledge of its nature and requirements, both seemingly so peculiar. Which, so he is trying to convince the committee to keep uh, Pearl with her uh, mother. So, in order to. Um, to give a strong, um, let's say, uh, a strong evidence that uh, Pearl must be kept with Hester, he says, it must be even so resumed the minister, for if we deem it otherwise, do we not hereby say that Heavenly Father, the creator of all flesh, a lightly recognized a deed of sin and made of no account the distinction between unhallowed trust and holy love. So here the writer tries to excuse um, Demisdale and Chilling and uh, Hester by executing them and uh, justifying their deed under the title of holy love, a holy uh, love. Um, one more point we need to highlight here is um, uh, the the continuation of uh, Demisdale. 
uh, keep the mother's soul alive this is the value of pearl to Hester it keeps her uh, mother's soul alive and to preserve her from blacker depths of sin into which Satan might else have sought to plunge her and it also reminds her of her deed as uh, a kind of torture in order to purify uh, her soul uh, so based on this kind of defense that um, uh, Demisdale made on behalf of Hester Chillingworth has noticed that this person is defending her heartily let's say with very um, high strength so he said you speak my friend with a strange earnestness said old Roger Chillingworth smiling at him which gives us an idea that Demis Chillingworth has already suspected Demisdale as the father of Pearl and now he these kind of evidences are confirming his own suspicions um, <clears throat> Then, after this kind of defense, uh, Pearl uh, uh, tries to reward Demisdale at Howell at Kaf uh, by, um, by uh, going to him, patting on his hand, and you notice the reaction between these two as if uh, Pearl is um, behave, behaving um, instinctively, yani ala tabi'atha, because now she is, as if she knows this is her father and she went to him. See Pearl, that wild and a slightly little elf stole softly towards him, towards Demisdale, and taking his hand in the grasp of both her own, laid her cheek against it and caressed uh, um, it so tender and withal so unobtrusive that her mother, who was looking on, asked herself, Is that my Pearl? So Pearl acted, um, uh, let's say, according to her own instinct. And the minister's reaction comes very fast, laid his hand on the child's head, hesitated an instant, and then kissed her uh, bro. This is how they both approve that there is a kind of a, a hidden or psychological connection that links these two characters together. So the reader understands that Demisdale is her father, and now these suspicions are confirmed for, uh, for uh, Chillingworth. A strange a child said Chillingworth it's easy to see the mother's part in her so uh, here Chillingworth gives us a hint that we can know the father of Pearl by analyzing the character of um, uh, Pearl and then the final encounter uh, a, a reference to the reader that mistress Hibbins is the sister of Bellingham Bellingham is the um, a sponsor of the Puritan um, uh, principles whose sister is uh, a witch, Sahira, uh, who tries to uh, invoke or, uh, or call um, Hester to uh, join her at the forest. These are the major points <coughs> in this uh, chapter. Uh, private and public lives of a clergyman. Uh, in front of uh, the public people, they are strict, but uh, between themselves and in their secret meetings, they are so soft and spontaneous which highlights their uh, hypocrisy and their, their two faces. Uh, major characters gathered again after the first scaffold scene. We know those characters gathered in the first scaffold scene in chapter 2, but now they are gathered again, like the main characters, Demisdale, Chillingworth, Hester Pearl, uh, Wilson, and Bellingham. This chapter highlights the development of Chillingworth, how he became very deformed than ever, and Demisdale, who's getting so weak because of his sin and his inability to confess. It also highlights the connection between Pearl and Demisdale, who, uh, wit uh, which witnessed a kind of a proximity and um, a strong link that connected them. Pearl is associated with nature, as I said, with birds, roses, and uh, ruby and um, uh, coral. Pearl Demisdale relation and Chillingworth penetrative looks, which proved to Chillingworth that Demisdale is um, is almost Pearl's uh, father, and finally reference to Mistress Hibbins, who proves the hypocrisy of uh, the Puritan uh, system because she is a witch and her uh, brother is a Puritan person and uh, a sponsor of the Puritan ideology. These are the main points we need to tackle in this uh, chapter. Thank you.